So the Sanjay Mortimer Rep Rap Fest was last month, and it was an amazing event with tons of cool things to see, but not everything got its own dedicated video. So in today, we're going to cover three things you may have missed, and we're going to start off with something really neat, a printer that climbs while it prints. So let's get started. This is a puller. Puller. No. Inverse puller. Inverse puller. So the bed is fixed, but the gantry does all the funky stuff. Yeah, but then the gantry does even funky stuff. It can keep going up in the Z, so it can climb up. You see both of these prints? Yep. Taller than the printer itself. Wait, does it cantilever? No. no. Uh, it, well, it's cantilever, yeah, but like if you look at the video, it shows that it has two grippers, one at the back of the arm and yep. one in the base, and then it uses these holes in the print that like are embedded in the design to lock itself in and climb up like a caterpillar. Oh, jeez, it climbs. Yes. Yeah, 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 it climbs. <laughs> That's and insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because every time I walk by, I'm just doing this. I'm like, oh, it's actually climbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, like, I should have really brought a bigger screen, but, like, I came here on the train. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, no, and, like... And then it, it just keeps printing. Yeah, and it keeps printing. So, like, you see both of these have been printed on this machine, and yeah. this is just the first step of a larger project. So, I am a researcher at the University of Liverpool, and the goal of this is to eventually create 3D printing without big volume limitation. Yeah, because you could just, as long as you design and mounts for this to grab onto, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. could just keep going up. Exactly, but then next step is not just up. It's going to be sideways and around the object, so it's not just as tall as you want, but as big as you want. And like, of course, this is going to take years, but yeah. the goal is just not just one of yeah. these, multiple of them together, so that you can have a swarm of these. 3D printing, I don't know, like buildings, houses, ships, rockets, as well. This is very much science fiction. Do yeah. not expect <laughs> in like next year, next month, but like 10, 20, 30 years, I don't know. I am still young. Yeah. I have a lot of time to work It is this. definitely one of the most original concepts I've seen here. Oh, thank you very much. That is really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Or, oh. Do you have information online or something? Uh, no. I'll is it be, just a project yeah, you're working on? Yeah, it's just a project. I'll okay. try to share a build log of this. I'm also writing an academic paper okay. about it, but uh, I've just been very busy uh, writing my PhD thesis, which sadly has nothing to do with this, but now uh -huh. I finally have free time. Again. Awesome. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. cheers. Awesome. That's really cool. Enjoy. That is really cool. Unfortunately, like, I missed that all weekend. It was over there, and it's like, I, I walked by it a few times, but he wasn't there, so I just look at him like, oh, it's a Delta printer. But, uh, that was really cool. That was really cool. Okay, so I'm here with Rob and tool changers are one of the cool things that's happening a lot now with the DIY scene and 3D printing. And we have a variant here that is something I haven't seen before. So Rob, what do we got here? Hey, so this is a new tool changer system that's in development. It's designed by Zroncho, who brought us uh, many of the ant head printers. He did the Double Dragon and the, the Dueling Zero, which I had a go at building last year. He knew I had a Trident, so uh, I'm lucky enough to be in the closed beta that this is in right now for the tool changer, which is a super cheap tool changer uh, based on a magnetic coupling system using a Maxwell coupling uh, and this should in theory be a high performance cheap tool changer which can run at high speeds and uh, will be available for a lot of different printers so we're running it on our Trident right now I've got the Trident docks on here this is the uh, the plate system that we've got where you've got the Maxwell coupling uh, held together with magnets uh, but it gives a really strong coupling and it means we get this super high precision because of the Maxwell coupling every time and it also gives us an integrated probe. So is it, a probe it, in yeah, this? Can you, can like you find a, where the, the, uh, the probe is? So like if you want to do a Z probe and a, and a tap, you can probe with this. Uh, I don't see one. It, it's in, uh, wait, wait. Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So, that, so, okay. Right, so you've got a bit of motion there, which is the kind of motion that we need to do to do a tap type action. And because we've got an electrical coupling between these two points, we can wire up an end stop across here, and then we've got a tap. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I'm really optimistic that we can also use this as like uh, an X end stop and a Y end stop just by smashing this from the side to move it out of alignment. <laughs> and then we can have the whole system doing like quadruple duty. It, it, it's always funny I find with like end stops on printers and whatnot, like. We, we go through phases where it's like, okay, a rigid fixed end stop, and then we got inductive probes and eddy current probes, and then we always end up going back to just, uh, we're just gonna have a wire and when it touches it, something else. It's so it, simple, it, right? It, and, uh, it's so simple. And we use this this nudge probe that Zrancho released last year. Again, it uses a Maxwell coupling. Again, it's its own sort of micro switch that is just so made out of hardware. Is, this is for- um, This is for XY alignment. Calibrating yeah, XY exactly, alignment, yep. Right, which you need. This is a, one of the big problems in tool changes. Now you can solve it for like five bucks just by having a Maxwell coupling that you, again, you, you nudge it. So and it's you break the, nudge, the connection. breaks the connection. Now you know where your tool head is. So we can just calibrate once when 
moment when we could change a, a nozzle or something uh, and then take the nudge off and we're good to go. So with this, obviously this one just has two tool heads. Yep. Um, but if this was on like a V2, you you could theoretically just have tool heads stacked up on the sides, essentially. So that's a great question. And I think you absolutely could. At the moment, there, there's a bunch of different printers in development. The plan is that it, it's going to be, when it, when it is released, then it will actually work on a V0. So you can fit it into a V0. Uh, and, yeah, because uh, uh, the docking mechanism on the side just looks like some flathead screws and uh, It's super, a super simple docking. Uh, and I've designed these Trident docks, but the, these will be adapted to anything with 2020 that you can, you can hit on the front. 2.4 is going to be a bit different because at the moment uh, the docks for 2.4 are being designed around uh, moving docks that move up and down with your gantry uh, so the way that I would add more tool heads to this is I would put more docks along the front right so maybe add a bar along the bottom and some more docks sticking oh, okay. up here uh, and then I could easily get four tool heads on on here uh, again for just the price of the tool head really it's there's there's so so minimal cost involved in this the magnets are the biggest cost right yep. to, to get that really strong and, and we get those by the hundreds so. exactly right awesome well that's really cool uh, my pleasure. I, um, thanks for sharing it. Yeah, cheers, Rob. Thank you. Have a good show. So it's always cool when there's new hot end tech in the industry, and I'm here with Lionel from Swiss 3DC, and they got a pretty cool hot end on the market now. So uh, what do we got here? So what do we have here, like for the bamboo labs, do you know the one here? When you change the nozzle, it's a very quick swap. Just take off the silicone stick, sock, pull out the nozzle, put it back in. Clamp it. There's a steel plate in here, spring. Put it back together from the end tip here. Just press it in, it's done. That is a very quick tool, tool uh, nozzle change there. <laughs> yeah, tool free, yeah. That's what we're trying to do, and we tried to do this for all the E3D type, for the Creality, for the Voron, for the S1. Here also for the Prusa Mini, it's a direct, it's a drop in replacement to have exactly the same lens. And the benefit on here is you have a 12.7 millimeter nozzle lens that would make about 12.5 millimeter cubic millimeter maximum. And on this one, for the exact same lens, you have a 22.5 millimeter. It's similar to a volcano into a... The same length, same lens. overall length, but now you're getting almost exactly. double. So that's, that's what we have. We have also the longer ones, longer version, where it's a 33 millimeter lens. Same thing, so, take it out. Just thinking that wouldn't last. That's a brass nozzle, diameter three. And here we have also our CHT type that is a pinch tube that makes even better flow capacity than for the CHT model. So you're basically accomplishing the same thing with the CHT with more surface area with yes, just a, a essentially pinch. like a divot or a pinch. A pinch inside, and that's also nozzle. patented. It has been through patent, not pen pending anymore. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say awesome, that's pretty cool. So these are basically, so you're selling the hot end, that's a, the hot side of a hot end essentially. Exactly. And you can put it on your existing cold end for whatever your machine needs. So you can have it typically here, that's what we see. The bottom part is the hot end, and we adapt the base plate and the heating connector to any kind of hot end you have. Awesome. Or we modify the lens of the heating, that's like for a Prusa, a different type, and it will be just a drop-in replacement as well, with a long meltdown that makes you improve the, the print time and the melting efficiency. Wow. And then also, it, it, you have two heaters on these as well, yes, so you got double the heaters, side. one yes. on each side. 24 watts, so two times 24 watts, two times 30, two times 40, or 60 watts. Those here are 60 watts all along here. What we found was... 60 watts on each side for the ones who really want to push in the heating. And uh, what what kind of, is it a thermistor, a PT100, 1000? So for now, it's the thermistor, it's a NTC 100. Okay. And we just will make a little modification in the heat block to support the PT1000. It's a square of two by two millimeter. And that's what we will do to, to, to be able to be compatible as much as possible. Awesome, and, and these nozzles are, these are very simple nozzles. They're they're just the only part that you really need, essentially. Yes, so we have two types of nozzles, and even three somehow. <laughs> so this is a brass nozzle, full brass nozzle, flying away. <laughs> this is a hardened stainless steel nozzle. I can't get it. There we go. With a sleeve, with a with a, um, a like, brass sleeve. Brass sleeve. This is obviously, you know. Just going on to it, like this is compatible with both because normally the hardened stainless steel is very thin to avoid this 
thermal efficiency that is uh, due to steel that is yes. not very good. So it's very thin, it's 0.25 millimeter. And also our heat break is very thin, thinner than 2.5, to reduce the heat creep. So we have a very good efficiency, melting efficiency, and higher than most of other uh, printers. That is really cool. So I've, I've got one of these, he gave me one, so we're going to give one of these a try when I get back home. And it's going to be really cool to see these, because uh, I saw you at earlier, I think, at Rocky Mountain, but you weren't at the booth when I walked by. Okay, yeah. So I, I took a look at these, but now I actually get a chance to talk about them. So these are really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot.